All right, uh, so we're back. Um, yeah, so uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of the stuff is just going to be me summoning. Um, I think I've, I've said that a few times, but uh, just for anyone who uh, comes in, there's not a whole lot in this game for me to sh for me to show to people. Um, and summoning is really you know the only thing that anybody might want to see, considering um, I wasn't like. I mean, no one who watched Acarus was coming over here, right, for, for my videos, and, and, and for those of you who are here, uh, you didn't watch me over Acarus, it was more like just, <laughs> you know, you're just here because you found me and here you are. Um, but part of the reason I did make videos and try to, like, instruct a little more was because of Acarus's absence on YouTube, like, he was more common on, on Twitch, and I didn't visit Twitch, so I didn't really care. Um, but in terms of like, you know, here it's like, oh, I felt more motivated to be like, oh, here, you know, let's kind of look at some stuff and, and go over a few things. But uh, as long as Acris is back and being more consistent on YouTube, then there's really no reason for someone like me to really make uh, any videos teaching anybody. So um, there's that and on top of the fact that I've become sort of more and more disillusioned with the game uh, as time has gone on. So I'm just sort of going through the motions nowadays, you know, log in, you know, do your stuff and that's it. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of progress, a whole lot of like really getting up there. I've just kind of been playing the game because I'm here and I just like to see what's new. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that aside though, I guess let's kind of look at, you know, what's, what's coming up here and what, what this video is mainly about, which is going to be the, the, the new, uh, the new banner here. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, interesting to look at these new characters. Uh, Dimitri's here, and I mean, anyone who's been on this channel already knows uh, I can't be asked to care about Dimitri. Um, I don't know what the, I don't even know what this does. It gives him Kanto, uh, so it's the Kanto thing. Uh, Rem plus one if unit is not adjacent to. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's all he gets. So it's kind of interesting. Um, don't really care. Uh, speed, so he's gonna be a you know basically he's gonna do everything except res tank, which is about half the game. So I mean you know. He's gonna be pretty strong, I guess. Uh, this this weapon's kind of interesting. Um, I really feel like they should just change the way this works, because if you can't follow up, which is the whole point of him is you want to follow up, and that's what you want all the speed for, right? Um, unless maybe you just want to run him on a wind sweep build, but then why would they give him uh, this unique skill, right? So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the, with this. I guess it's like if you're Doubling you're probably gonna kill them with the double, but if you can't double You're gonna get that extra like true damage or whatever um, Piercing to try to secure the kill with a one-shot um, So I mean that's kind of thing, but again, I just can't be asked to care about uh, Dimitri uh, Here's Morgan uh, Morgan looks fine. He's got a bunch of weird effects on here based on you know b bonuses and whatnot and, You know, he looks pretty strong. He's what he is uh, High stat, huge stat ball. I mean, so somebody running him at like a plus ten is going to be really scary because these stats are already pretty high for non-merged, uh, and he doesn't, have, he doesn't really care about speed, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, and this, uh, the only thing I think that's worth anything off of him is going to be this attack res menace. It's going to be pretty good for certain dragons. Like, um, I mean, Saros could probably use this pretty well, and I think, yeah, I mean, that's probably who I'd use it on. Uh, Saros would be good with this. Um, if you well, if, if you're investing. In her on defense, right? Like if that's what you care about. Um, who else? Would be, I mean, no, no, we be pretty good with this, uh, unless you're running, unless you want like a. No, I mean I, that's basically it. Unless you, I, maybe times pulse on her or something like that. Um, but I think you know this is going to be really good for a lot of dragons. Um, depending on the dragons, of course. I mean, you're not going to use this on like Fey or Fa, whatever her name is, uh, because she already gives herself a lot of buffs, and the ability to debuff them is like. Mm, you're only getting half of the usefulness of this, so I really wouldn't recommend it. Um, as well as just mages like him, right? So you could probably run this on like a Tharja or, or him or maybe like a Brunya or something would be pretty good. But, you know, like, like I said, this is the only thing he's got that's worth anything. Um, which I kind of wanted, but I mean, if I get it, then there we go. Because we're going to go do the, the full um, pity thing here and try to get to see what we get at the end. Uh, of course, she's got dive bomb as well as um the attack defense menace which is good or the attack defense solo uh, i actually like her her design and and just like i, I like uh, female morgan in general so i don't know if i'll fodder her off but it's gonna be kind of i mean because i already for one i already have legendary to uh, uh pirate to barn so i don't need 
dive bomb off of her and someone who's gonna I'm not sure who to give dive bomb that would also benefit uh, from from these other two skills because if you're gonna take a dive bomb you'll take either the four here or the four here um, which I think you'll probably just give them the four here uh, but yeah we'll see I mean do I anticipate getting her probably not but it's something to consider uh, and this I think so I mean like every year right when Kanegas came out um, when Surtur came out and like when all these when all these armors come out Everyone always kind of, you know, cries wolf and, like, the game is broken and balances whatever, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Like, it's always, like, a huge drastic thing whenever some new armor comes out and they've got, like, stats, like, you know, boosted to hell. They've got, like, a million effects on their weapon. Um, and this is kind of no different than most of them, right? Like, she's going to be as threatening and annoying as, as finding a bunch of surters was back then. Um... Uh, while I don't think she's that bad, she 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 is very strong on the on the she we have a, a, a clear uh, what's the word we have a clear example of how strong she's going to be because she basically does the same thing that um, Bector does. However, Bector trades his armor weakness for a blue weakness, where she's still weak on armor, but she doesn't have a blue weakness anymore because she's now colorless, right? Um, Let's take a look at exactly why I, I say that. So for one, she has the same uh, ex special acceleration that Vector has, um, while at the same time also having the minus uh, attack defense 6, which is a, a big part of his kit. Now here, funnily enough, he stops the enemy from doing a follow-up. She stops the enemy from doing the follow-up, uh, but she also stops herself, which... As a on with the, the, the one of the advantages with Vector is that he can stop their follow-up and still maintain his own follow-up. Now, a lot of times that's not valuable, and a lot of times you don't pay attention to that because you run him on bonfire to, to secure that uh, one-shot follow-up, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but basically, that's the point, right? Here, you know, neither person can follow-up, but if you're running him, you can run her very much like Bector and then just capitalize on the bonfire one-shot damage. Um, yeah, so neither of them can follow-up attack, and then here we've got the distant counter built into the weapon with a plus-two attack. Uh, if she's transformed, and then on top of that, if they're transformed, so not only do you have distant counter, not only do you have low attack defense minus six, not only do you have special acceleration, and not only do you have uh, weary fighter built in there, you also have gale force built in there. Um, so you can kind of see why my like annoyance with this game is is getting to where it's at because um, now I'm not going to see this all over the place, but it's just one of those things where it's like, well. How do we make better units? Well, let's just like overload everyone's like kits. And like I said, I mean, we've always been, you know, people have always been complaining about power creep and, and all that stuff. So it's nothing new. I mean, this, you know, I'm not saying anything no one's ever said before. Uh, but personally, this is kind of, this is one of the things that's like really making it clear to me is how many things are loaded into this weapon without even being finished in terms of what we're doing. Um, now, one of the differences, uh, a few of the differences anyway, that we can kind of look at this here uh, in relation to, uh, to Bector, uh, she doesn't negate her own penalties which is very strong on vector like people don't realize how strong the ability to negate those pe penalties are uh until you you're until you decide to use vector on player phase and he's full of debuffs and you go in to attack someone and suddenly you've used like you're just gonna die on that fight then you leave him till next turn and then he just like doesn't even take a scratch right um now that has partially to do with the way his weapon works and all that kind of stuff but it's important to realize that negating uh debuffs on him is is very strong um and secondly, the other thing that his weapon does, while not giving him disencounter and all this other stuff, is it also negates uh, his armor weakness, which basically, again, makes him only uh, green weak. Which, again, there's not a whole lot of green units that can really take take him out uh, that easily anyway. Um, a lot of people have built, uh, what's her name, uh, Cecilia specifically for that purpose, because uh, she does do a good job of, of hitting him really hard where it hurts, which is his, uh, his green weakness as well as his res weakness, because his res is really weaker. Uh, but like I said, so this weapon kind of does a lot of things that, that makes a lot... This weapon has a lot of stuff included in it, which is also, you know, overlaps with what Bector's weapon does and makes her kind of strong in that sense. Uh, like I said, she just kind of gives up. Like, she'll take the armor weakness, uh, but, you know, she'll, she, she'll, she trades it for not having to worry about uh, color advantage at all. Uh, funnily enough, though, she's still kind of, like, I'm not going to say she's 100% weak, but she's still kind of, like, weakish to... Um, What's her name? To to uh, Cecilia because the Gron uh, her to order Tome of Order 
does give you effectiveness against colorless so that, that was kind of funny but um again she's probably gonna kill uh cecilia's um she has like significantly more res and i mean look at like, look at the stat spread <laughs> like this is like if you plus 10 your vector he'll end up with this stat spread a little more obviously he'll have like more hp this is the stat spread a plus 10 vector kind of ends up with granted he has he also has a little more speed uh but the speed is never really fast enough to be useful i mean it's good against other armors because they have lower speed so you know if, if you have like a 30 something speed vector then he can just kind of player phase hit them twice and then wait till the next phase and then they'll run into vector and you know get killed that way as well uh but anyway so that's that uh we obviously got the bonfire here the the special charge uh here you can basically because she has this encounter you can run whatever you want here um and what i would suggest running would probably be something like like if you want to run her on defense uh probably run in this slot something like a unity skill uh that way not only are you getting rid of the debuffs are you like the same way Bector's weapon does, but you're also getting bonuses based on that, right? Which is pretty good. The problem with that being that uh, she doesn't cover every uh, all. You can't cover all your stats. There is no like all you know all stat unity skill. So you're only limited to two stats in that sense. But if you're limited to two stats from running an ideal skill, then I mean, may as well take the unity. But that's that's again depending on how you want to run her. Uh, this the ideal skill is better for probably just being solo and, and doing whatever. But if you're going to use her in like a, a tank ball where your everyone's got like AR far saves and near saves and all that stuff, uh, you can you can probably run the, the unity there. Uh, if you want to be kind of more pragmatic and more like uh, one of those min maxers who's going to sit here and be like, no, let it be as optimal as possible. Um, what is it? Is it Svalin Shield or uh, no? Iot Shield is for what's it called? Is either Grano Granny Shield or? Um, Svalin shield and I don't remember which one it is. I think it's Svalin um, Because uh, no one runs it right, but because she has this encounter built into her weapon You can run the Svalin shield Here in the in the slot and take away her armor weakness and you're basically solid at that point like she has no weaknesses anymore uh, Of course beast effectiveness um, Is gonna be a problem as well as people who have colorless effectiveness, but there aren't as common like I said some people are running around with um with some, you know, merged up uh, Cecilia's, but I, they're not that big a deal. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, you can you can kind of like this A slot is open for whatever you want to put in here. And I mean, to make her, to, it would have been really funny if to make her uh, the same way Bector is, if this A slot gave her stats and um, like if it was like plus four attack defense or something, uh, and then it gave her, uh, you know, uh, immunity to armor weakness, that'd be really funny. Um, well, fortunately, she's still weak to armor, so that's something we kind of have, like... She's still armor weak, so we kind of have that check on her, which is not too bad, considering how many, um... To, considering how many and how common uh, Micaiahs are in all, for, in all forms, uh, at least for my AR offense stuff, like, it's easier, you know, because I, I run Micaiah on everything, so I just go in there and hit her with everything. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of interesting to consider. Uh, Dragon Wall is, funnily enough, or Armored Wall, Dragon Wall. Armored Wall is basically just um, special fighter, but better. Uh, you have a 25% HP limit this time, this time, uh, as well as you have 7 HP res re restore, so you don't have to worry about running Mystic Boost. Uh, and your C slot, your Sacred Seal slot is open for something else, right? So um, it's actually better than Mystic Boost because it heals more. Well, one of the actually... It does come up, I mean, mainly you use Mystic Boost for the heal, but the, the staff kind of like... The ability for staffs to hit you for only half damage because their um, uh, Wrathful Staff doesn't do anything is is pretty useful, but you know, there you go. Uh, and then lastly, you also get uh, damage percentage reduction on, on this skill, if that wasn't enough, right? So Special Fighter combined with um, Spurn is like, there you go. Why, why choose when you can just take all of it? Um... One of the other things that's also important to consider is that, like, the fact that you can reduce the first attack by 40% kind of alleviates not, like, the thing with Vector is he's still weak to green. Now, with her, she's weak to armor effectiveness, but the fact that she has this 40%, um, you know, damage reduction makes it so that she patches up both at the same time. Where Vector is really really strong really really weak to um green she's also weak to uh colorless effectiveness and armor effectiveness but because it's 40 you reduce both of those to be less than vector's green effectiveness right uh, just because of this armor reduction uh and then the other thing she's also weak to is beast effectiveness but again 
Uh, because of this 40% damage reduction, it's like basically nullifies those anyway, right? So that's something to consider as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, she's just a full package. I mean, there's really nothing else like you can <laughs> you can really do to her. Um, yeah, so that's something that's... Then you obviously get Armored Stride because, uh, you know, for more movement. But if you, like I said, because of the AR saves and Vector and removal of certain, like, uh, like not everybody needs Distant Counter in their kit anymore, right? In terms of armor balls, uh, because someone else can just AR far save or near save who has the Distant Counter, uh, and that person can just run something else, right? So that's, a, that's something to consider. Um, yeah, uh, but like I said, you could probably run something like that and have her uh, tank up a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. She's pretty interesting. Uh, like I said, there's nothing on this banner necessarily that's that good, but for one, it's it's sparkable, and for two, I mean, it, it'd be nice to get a copy of her just to have her, just because I don't have any Edelgards, funnily enough, um, and this will be the first one I get. So, <laughs> uh, you know, let's see if we can pull her on the first one or... Uh, it'd be nice to get like a plus one. I mean, I don't think that's gonna happen given my luck on colorless recently. Well, like I said, I can't say that considering my uh, my ninja lin uh, is where she's at. But um, I'm not very. Oh, there you go. We got the uh, Morgan. This is what's so exciting about this this type of banner is like you can just summon on the whole circle, uh, get what you want at the end, and on the way there, just get a bunch of extra fun stuff that you know could be useful. Let's kind of see what kind of. Uh, we got plus defense, uh, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna fodder her off. Uh, I really like her design. I like uh, I like the the fallen characters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, look, it's the wrong Morgan, <laughs> uh, or the right Morgan, depending on for those of you who uh, actually want to build that unit. I'm actually not entirely sure how many orbs exactly you need for the pity. <laughs> I might be slightly under, which would suck if I am. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, though I get, I mean, the fun, like I said, the fun part is pulling on the way there because, I mean, spoiler alert, I'm gonna get the unit. I mean, whether it's today or maybe I save up some more orbs and I get her later, right? So, um, yeah, just on the way there is what is what's fun to do, and and you know, whether I don't have enough to literally go all the way to the end is is what it is. Uh, the other thing is also that um, obviously that that celestial stone or whatever you want to call it is very valuable. Um, it'd be nice to have. I think you need, I don't remember, I think you do need three to get the formal soul, which is kind of interesting, but, you know, that's what it is. Well, actually, I didn't, I don't think I cleared my barracks for this, so I'm going to have to go do that, which is uh, kind of my fault. Alright, come on. Edelgard, I know you're in there. I just want to get one on the way to her. Uh, cause I, you know, just to patch up whatever, uh, boon or bane she might have. Um, I think she's already in the Fey unit builder and I, yeah, th cause I think I went to go look at her and you can easily get her to like ridiculous stats if you plus 10 her. Um, not that I'm going to, but it does make colorless a little more useful. Like basically she, like, she's probably going to come out on a legendary banner. Hey, it's this guy. And I just got pity broken by a nobody. Um, it's gonna, man, that could have been another Morgan, and I could have had one for fodder and one for just hanging on to, but, you know, whatever. I feel like Dimitri's gonna be in one of these, it's just kind of weird. Um, yeah. I forgot what my point was before that, I said that. Before he distracted me. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I have no idea what my point was. I'm trying to, like, pull it back, but it's not gonna happen. I think earlier, I, I mean, I already, by this point, I should have already uploaded the, um, the Senya summoning video, which was pretty fun. Um, I still haven't built her, and I don't have her, like, used for anything, and, uh, for those of you who, who do watch a lot of Epic 7 content, um, you probably have already seen a lot of people use her by now, um, to test her out. Uh, and, and I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of those, uh, obviously they have, like, one of the one of the useful things about them is they have is a lot of times they'll have better gear than me or, or more prepared gear in that sense. Um, more prepared more prepared gear, uh, and she her damage is a little underwhelming. Uh, with Lilius, obviously, you're, you're you know, people are hitting for huge amounts of damage, um, and it's it's like because she's better than Gunther or Gunther. 
it's less of a meme than running like a 9,000 attack Gunther. I don't know. I don't know what people, how high people can boost its attack, but it's a lot better than running that. Uh, hey, is this Morgan? Five star Morgan? That's kind of weird. There you go. So we got um, five star Morgan. I'm not sure what she does. Oh, she's a flying tome user, flying blue tome user at that. Let's take a look at your father's tactics. That's pretty good. Uh, I remember her refine being pretty good, but I don't think it's as good as the new uh, male Morgan refine. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, look at that. You know, I love that that four star like five star conversion thing. Uh, it's just really fun to just pull a random four star and, and have it be uh, something more than you thought it would be. Oof, we're not getting a lot of colorless orbs, unfortunately, uh, which kind of sucks. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about um, the colorless pool now for certain things. Um, so, you know, it makes pulling on like a colorless uh, part of a legendary banner more enticing, right? Because like, I mean, what, like, what if you get air, her, and like legendary Corin, right? Or air, her. Uh, you know, we have air, her, legendary Corin. Um, Linja might come out in in something. I'm not sure exactly what units are allowed onto the legendary banner, so it goes to show you kind of my ignorance. I just kind of like when things come, if they're a good value, I'll summon on them, but I don't like plan out like, oh, she's gonna come out here and then all that stuff. But this is the first time I'm thinking about that. Is there's four units now that are that could potentially end up on like um, legendary banner uh, on the same color, being colorless in this case. Uh, that all seem very interesting, and it all seems like they're gonna be really strong. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, I didn't really want Linja to begin with, but the more I use her now, the more um, I've come to realize that she's actually really good, and uh, maybe a, getting a plus 10 eventually would be pretty nice. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's check out this uh, IV here. Attack. I need a speed IV because I actually accidentally uh, gave her attack. Uh... I plus 10 her with an attack boon, uh, and that was kind of dumb. Uh, it's not very useful. So this is two rings in a row. We haven't gotten a single colorless orb, so I think hopefully at some point we get like a, a ring of like a bunch of colorless orbs. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Because uh, then we could get because um, <laughs> then we could get uh, multiple chances at, at pulling a. Uh... Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, being, you know, it was funny looking through my barracks, but being a, a primarily a CC Vantage uh, bow user, let's see. Um, if it's going to be in here, I mean, may as well. Uh, it, being uh, primarily a CC Vantage bow user, hey, another uh, Maribel, yeah. I actually have a plus two Maribel now, thanks to this. I don't imagine she'll be plus three eventually, but uh, the point being that she might be due for a refine at some point, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but she just kind of been sitting there as my uh, only other like healer that I use a lot, just because cav healers I feel are more useful. Um, and I haven't really invested in any of the new ones. It's just that I keep pulling her for some reason. Uh, so I have I have like basically three or four copies now. Um, but that is what it is. It'd be nice, you know. It'd be nice uh, if we pulled on these blues and I got another Vector. And we got a uh, red. I think is she newer? I feel like she's older. I think she has like not that good fodder. Let's take a look at what she's got. Uh, so that's a, that's a, oof, that's a plus blade. Um, oh, this is pretty good. This is a, um, yeah, that's that. Oh, she's got guardy, uh, a guard, guardy bearing. She's got guard bearing and, oh, okay, so yeah, she's got, she's got excellent fodder. So there's no reason to, to dislike that. So that's pretty cool. She just looked like she was one of the older units that you, you pull and you don't really want anymore. Um, but yeah, like I say, I mean, it'd be really nice to pull like a Vector in here somewhere. Uh, and that's what that's what's making. I, I think that's what kind of increases like the the, the value of Vector is the, the fact that you can just pull them at any time, and you know, that's another free merge. So it's looking like we're not going to get another uh, a second Edelgard, um, which is all right. Uh, one Edel one Edelgard will do whatever you want her to do. Uh, usually well enough anyway. 
Yeah, so let's save those two colorless ones to the end, kind of increase the um, the suspense here. Uh, funnily enough, so one of the things that I found interesting was the the new refines for distant counter weapons, and they're all kind of all right. I mean, obviously, um, what's his name? Uh, the flying Rioma is just went from zero to like everything. This thanks to all these balance passes that came out, but. What I thought was interesting was thinking about the uh, the the Ragnall refine for like legendary Ike because I have like a plus five legendary Ike. I thought it was fine. I mean, you couldn't you, you can't give him too much. Wow, I can. There you go. We got a. And my hatred for Dimitri um, forced the game into giving me a Quan. <laughs> uh, someone who's yeah, he's got he's got nothing. Uh, <laughs> they they uh, they know. Um, I think I have two Quans actually, and they're just sitting there doing uh, sweet piss all because they're worthless. Uh, so there's Lucius, uh, the resident trap. Before that other one came out, I forgot what her, I forgot what his or her name was. Don't want don't want to mis uh, misgender them, but it, it is what it is. Uh, though I guess you know saying trap is calling someone a trap is equally as derogatory, but you know it is what it is. And let's take our Edelgard. Yeah, there's really nothing else I want from here. And she's going to be completely neutral, which is pretty good. Because um, her neutral stat spread is, is not bad. And... There we go. Uh, one of the things that... And I don't know how to use this. I don't know where the shop is for that either. Um, what I think that's kind of interesting was I was thinking about uh, the, the well, the, the new Corin that came out, the legendary Corin, kind of made me think about the fallen Corin a lot. Um, and the fallen Corin is generally better than than the new Corin, but the problem is the new Corin has uh, the damage reduction in her uh, special skill or whatever. Um, which is very strong, especially with uh, Ennis running around, which is what makes her better. But I was also thinking about just like a fallen unit, what would be like a good fallen unit to invest in. And then uh, lo and behold, here comes a fallen Edelgard, uh, leveraging, just leveraging power that like, I don't think any any unit has ever like held before in terms of like, just just how stacked she is. Like, I mean, look at this weapon and then look at like, we have like the best version of special fighter uh, that's ever been. Whereas some, well, whereas something like um, Vector came with the best version of, of distant counter we've ever seen. Uh, we've got the best version of of special fighter we've ever seen here, um, and then a weapon that's like ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of interesting. Oh, but yeah, so there we go. We got we got a little guard. It would have been nice to, uh, to have like a merge, but you know. Okay, here we are. So we do need three of these um, to get a formal soul. Uh, one of these can get you a bunch of flowers, but I you know, I wouldn't pull for that. And again, I obviously I really wouldn't. Like I don't know why this is four of these tokens. Like it's crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just here. Very interesting. So yeah, hopefully you guys uh, have decent luck. Uh, fortunately, I got the, the female Morrigan, which was the only Morrigan I wanted. Uh, and the Edelgard came at the end of the uh, whatever. We had pretty bad luck in terms of like just getting a bunch of off summons, but we did get that one um, red flyer. I think she was a red sword flyer. Uh, anyway, she had she had guard bearing and she had uh, sturdy impact, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys all uh, have decent luck. Hopefully you get... Uh, be interesting to see if anybody pulls, anybody tries in this banner. I don't think this is the banner you should want to do it. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if anybody, you know, you're running around in arena or aether raids and you already start seeing like plus ten Edelguards. guards. I mean, it's gonna be possible. Just you know, how accessible to like our level of skill in terms of matchmaking are we gonna like run into that? Um, <laughs> and it does feel bad to not have any orbs as well. So you know, we'll see how this how this stuff uh, goes. Uh, but yeah, so that, that'll be it for today, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it, and maybe it brings you guys luck on your on your summoning sessions. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.